It's changing really quickly. You can actually see the pink. Hi guys, today's video is super casual. It's all about euphoria. Have you guys heard about them at all? I didn't know about them and I think that's because I really haven't been on TikTok that much, but they reached out to me and they kindly sent me their products. So I'm super excited. These neon colors are just a lot of fun. This brand looks like it would be great for someone who is Gen Z. And one of the products is blowing up on TikTok, specifically their color changing blush oil. Intriguing, right? I'm definitely interested. Now, I already applied my base makeup, but since I knew this was a blush oil, I did not put any powder on my cheeks, so I feel like I kind of look weird, like my cheeks look quite shiny. When I was researching this brand and kind of seeing what other people are posting, there were actually quite a few videos, but no one was breaking down the actual brand and like what their story is. So I want to talk about that quickly. Euphoria is universal. It's the moment of utter bliss you get when you're young. Your first lip gloss, the cute text, and the screenshots sent straight to the group chat, the waiting, the rush, crushes, summer break, long chats that last till three in the morning, getting the giggles with your best mate, hungover AF, waiting for microwave mac and cheese, the lights going down before your favorite band starts playing, being completely in it and taking it all in, like if confetti was a feeling. That's how we want you to make you feel with every product, every time. Now that I know that, this is definitely for someone who is a teenager or early 20s. It also says we are big on having fun, but we are serious about the environment. We made our products bio-based, each with at least 90% renewable ingredients instead of fossil fuels, and our products are certified by the USDA Bio Bio Preferred Program. Euphoria was founded by an Asian woman and it was actually right when COVID hit which must have been extremely challenging for her and her team I can't even imagine that whole entire process but she said during the development of euphoria Fiona slept in all the lab samples and woke up with much better skin it completely changed her beauty routine philosophy makeup is an extension of skincare and sleeping in our lab samples is a huge part of our testing process let's just get into it since I'm super excited starting off with the BYO blush this cost $36 and it contains 0.21 fluid ounces and this is the only color this is the world's first color changing blush oil that's gone viral on tiktok we created this because we wanted to make a universally flattering blush that worked on all skin types and skin tones while making your skin better over time byo blush is a buildable blush oil that reacts to your skin's natural ph to give you a uniquely flattering flush look it works on all skin type and skin tones everyone will have a unique color if two people with the same skin tone applies byo blush they'll both get a slightly different color it's so interesting since it's green but then it's gonna change into I'm guessing some sort of pinky color so this looks like a lip gloss I wonder if you can put this on your lips maybe I will be doing a wear test I'm hoping this will have some dry down even though it is an oil because if it doesn't then I most likely am not gonna like this because I like when a blush just dries down a little bit they said to apply two dots Oh wow, it's changing really quickly. You can actually see the pink. I'm just gonna use my fingers. It feels, wow, very lightweight. Two dots is honestly all that you need. It spreads very easily. That was the easiest blush that I've ever had to blend. That was nothing and I used one finger. Now it does have this beautiful glow to it. The color is subtle, but you still see it. Just to show you guys my before, and my after. I kind of want to do it a little bit differently on the other side and maybe put powder on my cheeks first and see how it layers. This might fuck it up, so hopefully it doesn't, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> All right, powder, powder, powder. Also, it doesn't seem like it stains my fingers. I really appreciate that. I don't like when liquid blushes stain my fingers because then it's so hard to get off. I'm nervous, but let's do the left side with the powder on. It's so cool that it just changes the color. Like right in front of your eyes and instantly. So far, it looks like it's doing okay with this powder. Doesn't seem like it's pilling or bunching up or anything like that. This is really pretty. At first I was like, oh, is this gimmicky? But it looks so nice. Now, you guys know whenever I do reviews or first impressions, there will be a wear test because that is so important to me. I wanna see if this color is still here and does it move around the makeup like the foundation and the powder? We'll see. I have two dewy glosses for $26. It contains 0.21 fluid 
ounce, so just like the blush. And I have colors 3, 3 a.m., and 9, Play With Fire. It looks like it has a little bit of shimmer, and this is a mauve color. I don't really go for mauve because it kind of, I don't know, makes me look sick. <laughs> But let's just see. This applicator is really nice. You know what? It doesn't look too mauve Like too cool, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I would definitely have to get used to this color on my lips, but it doesn't look that bad. I don't know if I would pair it with this blush necessarily, but it is very comfortable. It's not super glossy, but it's also not sticky at all and it has the tiniest bit of shimmer to it. Let's try the other color, Play With Fire. This one seems more up my alley. It's kind of like this bronzy reddish color. Super pretty. This also has shimmer to it. This is like a wearable red. Like it's not super daring, there's no fuss. This is definitely a color that I would actually wear every day. Is there a smell to it? I don't think so. Yeah, no smell. And I don't believe the blush oil had a smell either. But let's just double check. Yeah, I don't smell anything. Yeah, I don't think there's any fragrance. Yeah, I don't see any fragrance in their ingredients. So if you are sensitive to fragrance, you might enjoy these. I'm pretty impressed, but the true test is that wear test later today. So I will see you guys around 5 o'clock. For someone who was just crying earlier, I don't look that bad. My eyes don't look like bloodshot red and it seems like my concealer stayed in place. So that's good. But going back to Youthphoria, this makeup looks really good. I just reapplied the gloss. Obviously, it came off when I was eating and whatnot, but the blush... I can still see it. I don't know about you guys, but it looks really good. And I think what made it work out so well is that it did set and it didn't stay. I don't know how to explain it. There are some liquid and cream blushes where they don't set and they kind of just sit on top of the skin. This one just blended really nicely with my foundation and concealer. And even when I pat it with my fingers, you don't see any fingerprints, which is really important. I'm just really impressed. And I know a lot of you who have oily skin, you would absolutely stay away from oil, but know that you can wear this and you can use powder with it too. Since I'm here, I kind of want to apply some on my nose. I always like that look. It looks just really cute. I'm just doing this for fun even though I know the wear test is done with. Just because why not? I forgot to mention these. These are the Magnetic 4 Pan. They cost $5. At first, I didn't really understand it until I watched some TikTok videos. But what you do is it looks like this. There are four and you just do this. How easy is that? They have a magnet and look, they're staying. So this is perfect to put on your vanity or in your bathroom. And I like how they just stay up so then you could just see them. This is a great way just to organize everything. I love that. And also what I learned just by accident, since they have magnets on the top and the bottom, you can also do this. I feel like it's a Lego game or something. That's so much fun. <laughs> that was my first impression of Youthphoria and my wear test. This is a really interesting brand. I can't wait to see what they come out with next, whether it's more colors in their blush oils, maybe some bronzer contour. That would be really cool. And I just want to say thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, like it, subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.